more woe to this F-250. If you're like me and you do a lot of towing or you've thrown some bigger tires on your truck, you might feel like the factory brakes are lacking. We definitely feel that way on ours. So we gave the guys at EBC Brakes a call and they recommended these slotted and dimpled rotors as well as their orange extra duty pads. So today we're gonna to show you how to install them on an F-250 Power Stroke. Uh, we went ahead and tested the factory brakes. We did a 55 mile an hour to zero stop and did it for distance. We've got that marked set up and we're gonna install the EBC kit and then test them again and see how they perform. First I get these tires and wheels off. All right, we're gonna start up here in the front. The front and rear of this truck's pretty much the same as far as the brakes go. So uh, first thing you wanna do is remove the caliper from the caliper bracket. All right, make sure that you hang your caliper somewhere like on the leaf spring where it's not gonna put a lot of tension on these lines. All right, you wanna go ahead next and remove these pad springs. Make sure you keep these because you'll need to reuse them and then remove the pads. Now remove the caliper bracket. Now with the caliper bracket out of the way, the rotor will just slide right off. All right, once you get the rotor removed, you wanna make sure that the hub surface is as clean as possible. All right, slotted rotors are directional, so EBC marks them from the factory left and right. Make sure that the thicker of the two goes on the front of the truck. Before you install the caliper and caliper bracket, make sure you wipe down the rotor with a good coat of brake cleaner. Now install the caliper bracket. Next, get the caliper bracket loaded up with new pads. That just looks sexy on there. This is one of the most important steps of the process, and that is the slide pins. Your caliper ride on these, and they get dirty and they get really hot. So if you don't grease them properly, they can seize up on you and it'll ruin your brakes. So make sure you clean them off really good, grease them with the provided grease, and slot them back in there. Don't forget to install the factory pad springs. Now we're ready to install the caliper. Uh, if you had a worn out set of brakes on here before this, you might have to take a C-clamp and push these pistons in so you have enough room to get over the pads. But lucky for us, ours is already wide enough so we're ready to slide the caliper on. Ah. 
All right, that's it for the front of the truck. The rear is identical. We're gonna finish it up, go to the other side, do all of that, and then it's time to bed these brakes in properly. The bedding in process is something often overlooked when people install performance brakes on their vehicle, uh, but it's super important. Now what it does is it helps mate the surfaces between the pads and your new rotors. So that way when you're braking, you're getting the full contact patch of the brakes. Uh, it's pretty simple to do this. First thing you want to do is drive about around 100 to 200 miles of around town driving where you're using the brakes more often. Uh, and just don't, don't do any heavy braking if you can help it. Uh, this will help bed in the brakes and get them ready so we can do the final bed in procedure. And to do that, uh, we need to go from find somewhere safe, obviously a safe road, a uh, back road somewhere where there's not a lot of traffic where you can safely go from 60 miles an hour down to 10 miles an hour. And that's what we're gonna do now. All right, and you wanna repeat this process five times total. And that's all there is to it. All right, now that we've done our 60 mile an hour to 10 mile an hour stops, we've done five of them. Uh, we're gonna drive around for a little bit and let the rotors and everything cool off and then it's time to test them. At the beginning of this video, we did a 55 mile an hour to zero brake stop with the factory setup on the truck. And it went 115 feet. So now that we put the EVC brakes on, we're hoping it's gonna do better than that. So we did a few tests with the EBC setup on the truck and we kept getting the same result. It was stopping at about 100 feet each time. Now that's 15 feet shorter than the stock brake setup. And while that not, might not sound like a lot, that's 13% overall brake performance increase on the truck. And in 55 mile an hour normal highway driving, you could easily fit a car in, in this space. So it could be the difference between you stopping or rear ending a car in front of you in an emergency situation. All right, hopefully you see from the video just how easy it is to install these kits on your truck. And it's definitely a good performance upgrade, especially if you do any kind of towing. So if you guys want to get a kit for your truck, we'll leave links in the description below so you can do that. If you guys want to check out some other episodes of Tow Rig Tech, you can check them out over here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.